Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. So, I'm using the Android 14 by Pixel OS on my OnePlus 9RT from last two weeks. The video regarding that is already uploaded at our channel. You can check its link under video description. I always recommended this to most of my subscribers, but today I brought you one of the highly customizable ROM called as Matrix OS. Today, in this video, we'll show you how you can flash this on your device. We will test all its functions are properly working or not. We will also test its performance along with the test sampling rate. We will check all the Android 14 features are working in this ROM or not. I will also show you the shortly what are the major customizations this ROM is offering but the list is so long. So I will create another separate video for the detailed review of all the customizations this ROM offers. At the last I have shown some major bugs with my final verdict which ROM is better Pixel OS or the Matrix OS. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. Let's start with the flashing process. First your device bootloader must be unlocked. Your device must be on the any Oxygenus 12 or Oxygenus 13 above versions. If you are first time flashing this Android 13 or 12 best custom ROMs, then please check the another video tutorial link available under the video description. Download all the files given under the video description. Now power off your device, long press volume down plus power button. Phone will boot to this fast boot mode screen. Now download the files, unzip the recovery.image file. Here you will get boot dtpo and vendor underscore boot image files. To flash them, first type command fastboot devices. Once your device got detected in the CMD, now do fastboot flash boot and drag the boot image file. In same way, flash another two files like dtpo and vendor underscore boot image file. All the commands are given under the video description. Now using the volume up and down buttons, select the recovery option. Then press the power button to boot your device into the recovery. Your device will boot to this matrix OS recovery screen. In the recovery, type Apple update, then select ADB side load. Keep device connected to the PC. In the CMD, now type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file and hit enter. While flashing, recovery will show you this prompt to flash the additional file. Tap on the no. You will get the notification in the CMD flashing got completed with the 1x1 notification. Now in the recovery tab factory set select format data and format your device. Next step reboot the system so all the things are done here. Now your device will start to boot into the new amazing boot animation of Matrix OS. ROM has its own default Matrix launcher with some new wallpapers. The settings panel of this ROM is something different if you go under the setting you will understand. There are some animations we will find here and there. First we will check out about section of the ROM. Here again you will find the details of the device with the different large tabs. This is officially supported ROM by the developer Mbrik. This is the Android 14 basic custom ROM which has its easter egg where we will find the space war type game. ROM has the latest security patches of November 2023. This ROM is also based on the same Pixel OS kernel that is Ghetto kernel. Its version is 5.4.254. Its build date with the latest Clang 2 Gen 17. The build date of ROM is 24th November. This is a beta 3 build, so I tested all the things including Wi Fi, Hotspot, NFC, Bluetooth, Location, GPS, NFC, OnePlus Alert Slider. All the things are working perfectly. All incoming and outgoing VOLT and VONR calls are working without any mic issues. I tested all the sensors including the mic, speaker and other things using the trusted applications and all are working great. So in terms of daily uses, I think this is one can be used as a daily driver built. There are some minor bugs that we will discuss at the end of this video. So watch this video till the end. ROM comes with the all the Android 14 features but I will not discuss them in detail here. Most of them are working. You can overview them in this video.
Now comes the most interesting part of this video that is the features available in this ROM. This is a highly customizable ROM with its own new look of setting panel. It has tabs like battery and storage and many more. If you check them you will get some funky animation at the top of the screen of the panel. All the customizations of this ROMs are collected under the matrix setting. All the old traditional customizations that you are using from the decades are available here like buttons customizations lock screen, miscellaneous, navigation bar, notification, quick setting panel, monet theming and user interface setting customizations. All of these settings are working well. Today I will not discuss these customizations in detail because that will make this video lengthy. I will create another separate video with the awesome customization features of this ROM that I never found in any other custom ROM. If you are a gamer, you will get game space application in the ROM. There are some other options available in the ROM to boost the performance of the gaming. So I will also create another video specially dedicated for the gaming performance of this ROM. One of the important feature that is missing in the old Pixel OS Android 14 based ROM that is high touch polling rate. This setting is available under the display setting. If you enable this, you will get the 600 touch sampling rate of on your device. Another feature that I like most in this ROM is the dual apps. Under the app setting, you get the dual apps option. You can create the dual application for any applications in the phone. I personally tested lots of security and the banking application and all are working fine in this ROM. Under the launcher setting, you get the lock feature to your applications. You can lock any application using fingerprint or the pin password. This is also one of the feature for the security purpose which is very useful. Launcher setting has a lots of option for the customization but will that discuss them in the another video that I already told you. So what about the performance? ROM is buttery smooth. It is based on the Android 14 sources with the lots of optimizations using the ghetto kernel of Pixel OS. I can say the Pixel OS and this ROM has the same level of performance. Both are buttery smooth on your fingertips. CPU and the GPU Geekbench performance of both the ROMs are way higher as compared to the Geekbench database and any other Android 13 basic custom ROM you used previously. For a single and multi-core we got the score of 1485 and 3583. While for the GPU score we got the 4470 and 5006 for the OpenGL and Vulkan graphics respectively. These are not just placebo results, numerical and real life performance of the device are matching together. Both the Pixel OS and Matrix OS has the smooth test level of user experience in the ROM. Next you enable the screen touch polling rate available under the display setting of the phone. We will get the highest level of the touch sampling rate up to the 1000Hz. And if you disable this toggle under the setting and then check the screen touch sampling rate, you will get the lowest touch sampling rate of 125Hz. This is the best setting which offers to enable the high touch polling rate which will give the maximum touch sampling rate and this will improve the gaming touch responsiveness. Now comes the most important part of this video that are the bugs. ROM has the minor bugs. First one is Android 14 feature of AI generated wallpapers and AI generated emoji wallpaper setting is not available under the wallpaper and style setting. It will be available with the upcoming updates. Next issue is that wide one security is of L3. So we can't able to use the Netflix or Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. But another big issue is that device certification showing uncertified under the Play Store. So we can't able to install the Netflix application. But it can be solved by using the mod video tutorial. Its link is given under the video description. That will enable your device certification so you can able to install the Netflix application. But you can only stream it up to the 720p resolution. Under the lock screen setting of Matrix OS customization, we get the media cover art setting, but it's not creating any blur effect on the lock screen for the media cover art. 
Next bug is for the call recording. Call recording feature is available under the calling option, but it's not recording any kind of calls. These all bugs we discussed are minor bugs and everyone can bear with these bugs. So definitely this ROM is a daily drivable build and it's nearly stable one. Battery life is not tested yet, but within 2 to 3 days I will report it with the community post, so stay tuned to our channel. Soon I will create the in-depth review of the features and the gaming performance of this ROM. So if you are new to our channel, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for the notifications of upcoming content for OnePlus 9RT. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.